Right, I've done a repair upgrade on my Dixon quick change tool post that I had on my mini lathe. I've had this one on there for about five years now and this cam locking device here has become very worn on the hexagon on the top. Now I've got two quick change tool posts that are both the same. Um, one on the mini lathe and one on the Myford ML7 and I've noticed that they vary in hardness um, from each manufacturer. They say that they're fully hardened and ground but they're not that hard as you can see on this one the wear on that hexagon. This side here was much worse than this one the socket was beginning to slip on that one and um, I thought that I was going to have to buy a whole new block. So to repair this you first push this plunger in and pull the camshaft out of the top of the tool post like that and then be careful that you don't lose the spring inside. And then you can hold it in hard jaws on these two diameters here and turn this end down to 6mm. So I've put it in my Myford lathe and you'll notice that my lathe is much quieter than on previous videos and this is because I've done a bit of a repair on this one as well. The motor shaft um, had a lot of end float on it and was going backwards and forwards and causing a lot of noise. So I made a couple of brass bushes that go in between the um, pulley wheel and the end of the motor and that stopped all that now so it's much quieter. And then get the camshaft running as true as possible by tapping it. And I'm going to use my small carbide turning tool and set that on on the stop. And when turning this hexagon down, um, you must be very careful that you don't go undersize. You've only got one chance of getting this right. I'm only taking 10 thou cuts. And you can see that it's not that hard. The material is quite soft.
about 9,000 to go. Just deeper the end with a file. So next I put a nice bit of thread cutting paste on the diameter there and I'm using my six millimeter um, split die. and just use my mandrel handle on the back of the lathe to cut that thread and that's that one done Next I got a stainless steel 6mm extended nut, you can get these on eBay, they're for joining um, studding and you screw that one on like that and check that it goes all the way down. On that one you can see there's a gap there, so I've got to put this nut in the lathe and increase that chamfer. So the countersink will throw up a burr, so just use a 6mm tap to clear that. So then I clean the thread off with acetone, put it in the vise, You can see there's a nice big chamfer on that one now and that's good because you can get some uh, a nice amount of Loctite in there. So I've covered the thread with Loctite 63A and put plenty in the nut chamfer there and just screw that one down and tighten it up there with a 10mm spanner. like that and then to finish off make it look nice and neat and stop any swarf from going down the thread there I put a short stainless steel six millimeter grub screw in the end like that and then just fit the tool post back together again. On this one here there's a recess in the back for the spring to go on um, towards one side and it goes towards the top and that's so it um, springs the piston part out there 
for the tool post to go on. So it's best to put the spring in first and use a pair of tweezers to position that. Just stand it on the back face roughly in position and then put that one down on top of it. Push it right in and while you're holding it in push the camshaft back in and then it's back in its correct position. And the great thing about this modification is that you can use ordinary 10mm sockets for releasing the tool holders. And that's the tool post back on the Chinese mini lathe. You can use the ordinary 10mm socket goes on there much more positive than the old um, socket spanner and much nicer to use. And I very much doubt that these new stainless steel nuts on here will wear like the old hexagon did. But if they did get damaged, you can actually heat them up and take them off and replace them with new ones.